Shopping for green products is like finding a comfortable high heel. It takes a lot of research. You know, I have a lot of people asking me how I can stand wearing high heel shoes all day. And you know, the answer is, I couldn't until I did a lot of research to find some really great inserts. And you know, unfortunately, from what I have found, in order to find really good products, you have to do a lot of research. And that's the way it is with green products, I hear. Which is why I'm here today at this really great small store called Epoxy Green. And I mean, look around us. Their products are so beautiful, I don't think I'm ever gonna leave. California, you can find an old car shop that in 2004 was revamped into one of the hottest places to go for green products for your home. Sure, it may seem a bit ironic for an old car shop to be a green building product hub, but as co-owner Deborah Geyer Green found out, being parked in a car shop in California isn't so bad. On nice days, which is pretty much every day, she can open the huge garage doors and let in that California sunshine, and hopefully intrigue passerbys lured by the gorgeous green treasures found within. It's like some of these products you just want to roll around in because they're so beautiful. And she's not saying that just because she owns the place. While you may think green products are ugly, quite the opposite is true. There are so many beautiful options, even I was overwhelmed. I have to tell you, I love that. Yeah. I don't even know why. Yeah, I shouldn't love that. That is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? So in all That's very cool. And you said this is palm? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Oh, I love this though. Yeah. How it's cut like that? Yeah, don't you think? Wow. Yeah. It was like being in a candy store found only in your dreams. One where everything looks just as good as it is for you. And the best part was, it was real. Every product found in Epoxy Green is not only good for the environment, but for your health and those who are making it. We research pretty thoroughly. I mean, not only do we want to research uh, what the product is made of and how it's made, but how the company goes about making it. So it's not just, you know, are they using toxins in the putting the material together, but what are they doing with their workers? You know, what's the backbone of the company? You know, there are companies that we know that literally will turn around and for every X they sell, they'll plant so many trees. You know, things like that really let you know, like, this is a company who's not just in it for the green moment, but is like in it for the long haul. But like she said, Finding those products takes some research. If I'm a consumer going out and looking, yeah. mm. are there any types of regulations or are there any, not regulations, organizations or things on the label to look for on green products? Yeah, you know, um, I would look for formaldehyde free with a lot of materials uh, having to do with flooring. Um, FSC certification means that it is wood that's being, you know, in a sustainable, um, harvested in a sustainable way and they're not clear cutting. Non-VOC is something you want to look for in paint. Um, uh, you'll hear in carpets about materials that don't off-gas. Off-gas? I'd never even heard of that. So Deborah took me to look at some products and explain exactly what off-gassing was and why you and I should be worried about it. What does it mean when you say off-gassing? What it means is that when you put it down or when it's made, there is, uh, there's chemicals in it. And so you know when you, you, you're someplace where there's a new carpet, you can smell it, or paint has off-gassing, and what that is is that's chemicals going into the air. So what they're trying to do is create products where you're not going to have that sensation and you're not going to deal with the toxicities coming into your home. Oh, I get it. Yikes. I definitely don't want to breathe in chemicals, but if you're like me, you've heard about how some of the green products don't work as well as they claim. And the first one that comes to mind is bamboo. A lot of people talk about bamboo and that's the first thing that hit the market kind of like, let's go green, let's put bamboo everywhere. Well, if you go online and you're getting it for like a buck 50 or a buck 99, it's a great price, but what you're getting is a very young growth. And people started getting really, since that was one of the first things that went into green, people were like, ah, oh, green, what are you talking about? That, you know, it dents. Yeah, I've heard about that. It dents really bad. It dents really bad. Well, what they were doing to keep the price point down was they were cutting it really young. So it's not mature yet. So it's young bamboo, probably like a year to a year and a half. And if you cut it young, it hasn't matured, so it's not as solid. Oh, so, I get it. So, so this may be a little bit more expensive. This may be like $6 a square foot, but that's still a reasonable 
price for a square for per square foot for um, flooring. And this won't dent. This is a really solid piece of material. So the key is to get bamboo that's matured. That's matured. At about what age? Um, usually the cuts are for like four to six years is the mature tree. And again, getting good green products comes back to doing a little bit of research. And most importantly, knowing what to look for. Also, the other thing that people were talking about with the bamboo is that they said that there's still formaldehyde in, in the compound material. Um, and so the boards that we have now are formaldehyde free. There's just trace amounts of formaldehyde in the compounding. I heard this important in hardwood too. It's in, yes, in all of it. And also you have tons of um, opportunities as far as the adhesives and the under sealants that are green now. And those are the kind of things that off gas in your home that you really want to be aware of. Because those are the things that people get sick or allergies from, but people don't know where it's coming from. And that's really important that you put that in your home. So when looking for green products, be sure to ask where it comes from, what it's made of, and how far it travels to reach you. Plus, check to see if the product is made from recycled or renewable resources. Ask if the product is put together with glue or backing that will off gas. If you're purchasing paint, look for paint with low or no VOC. If you're purchasing wood or bamboo, make sure it's formaldehyde free. And remember, pretty much everything in your home can be eco-friendly. Carpet, countertops, wood, paint, fabrics, even artwork. So what we're standing in front of actually is Tom Cervase's artwork and he did it on photographies on bamboo archival paper and also with FSC certified frames. So basically you can get green or eco-friendly artwork. Artwork as well. Yes, and that's really, you know, obviously this isn't going to save the planet, but the fact that it's green just kind of helps, you know, hone our mind towards like, okay, what other processes can we go green and more green with? And also it's beautiful. Very beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that when you shop for green products for your home, you're definitely not sacrificing beauty or style. You're getting the best of both worlds, something beautiful and something healthy. And you were told it didn't exist, but it does. And sure, it takes a bit of research to find, but is it really research when the things you're sorting through are such dazzling eye candy? So the takeaway for today is you can find tons and tons of beautiful green products for your home. You just gotta do a lot of research to be able to find really good ones. And you know, while the research may seem like it sucks, it's worth it. So make sure that you ask all of the tough questions. Look for those certifications, and you know what? You'll be able to have beautiful green products for your home. But more than that, I think that I've learned today that it's true. In order to get the best products, you've gotta do a lot of research. And while I know it's not the most fun experience, it is worth it. Don't go anywhere just yet. There's a whole lot more where that came from. Visit my website, askthedecorator.com, for tons more videos. And if you don't do that, at least subscribe to my YouTube channel or email alerts, because like I said, there's a whole lot more where that came from.